Hey folks, what's going on? How are you? Wait for a few people to get in here and then I'll talk a little bit about this, this thing right here. If you can see that, I'll talk a little bit about that. Get my band-aid, get my ugly band-aid out of the way there. There it is right there. There it is. It's reborn again. Not just reborn. I posted a picture of this older picture that only had reborn on it. It's actually reborn again. How's everybody doing? What's up? Uh, you haven't heard from me in a while. That's because I've been really, really busy. I've been working on multiple projects and to be honest, and I, I know this sounds, you know, I hope this doesn't sound uh, bad or don't take it the wrong way, but I just haven't had a lot of time to uh, jump on social media and, and, and do live Facebooks and, you know, post much stuff. I'm usually posting daily. I, I haven't had the time. I've been working on uh, a number of different projects, so it's been tough. But anyway, here I am finally posting a live video. Where else? Here in my studio, my dark man cave. That's a that guitar behind me is a rare, super rare Washburn prototype. Uh, they made a guitar in the '80s that discontinued, and they were going to re-release it. And that's the one yellow and black triangle version of it right there, hanging hanging over my shoulder. Kind of cool, right? Anyway, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all healthy and safe and you're doing okay. Nobody's sick. I hope everybody is able to pay the bills and you're not going through anything difficult or too difficult. We're always going through difficult things, but I hope nobody out there is going through anything very or really difficult. I hope that everybody's okay. I miss you guys very much. Uh, it's, it's always so great to see you out on the road when we go tour, you know, I get off the bus and I can see all of you from town to town and, and we're not doing that. So it's, it just feels very odd, very strange to not be able to see you guys. So this is a great way to do that. Here I am. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I am back. I'm here. And uh, it's so good to see everybody. I just want to talk a little bit. I won't keep you guys long. I know everybody has things to do. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to say a, a little bit about this. First of all, this is now called Reborn Again. It's not Striper's version. This is actually the first version that I did before Striper. Okay, so I recorded this as a demo, as a solo demo. And I was talking to labels and Striper uh, performed together we started talking about the possibility of reuniting and I played this album for Oz and Robert and they loved it and we decided to reform as a band and the quickest way to release an album was to take this album and re-record everything with Oz and with Robert and with Tracy and make it a Striper album. Okay, so that's what we did. Uh, there were some things about it that I liked, the Striper version. First of all, it was the first album that brought us back and put us back on the scene and said, hey, we're back. So it holds a special place in my heart for that. But there were always things that bothered me about it. And some of those things were the lack of guitar solos, lack of some high notes, um, and just little things about the production here and there. The, the drum sound, I wasn't really a fan of. Uh, and that happened because of, you know, a few different, few different things that took place that caused us to have problems getting and creating the best possible drum tone. So, that being said, this, this sounds fantastic. The drum sound uh, is... The drummer on this is Derek Kurzweil, and the bass player is Lou Spagnola, and it's just different. You gotta hear it. You guys gotta go and pre-order this. We just went live with pre-orders today. Okay, I'm gonna actually hold it. That's the CD version. We've got a thousand CDs available, and we have, if you can see that, 
I don't know if you can. That's the vinyl. Right here. I'm holding it in my hand. And I'm going to sign. I think we have 750 vinyl. There's the back of it. And I'm going to sign every CD and every vinyl. And when you guys see a video or a picture of me in the hospital, <laughs> because my hand is like this, and I can't move it from signing all these, from signing all these, then you'll know why. <laughs> but I'm going to sign them all. The reason why I decided to do that is I released 1994 uh, on vinyl, and all the signed copies went really fast. And then all the, sign, all the copies that weren't signed kind of straggled and hung around. We're still sitting on uh, a few of them, not many. I think 100. Uh, but I just figured, you know, I'm going to sign them all because everybody seems to want a signature. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to personally sign every single piece. It's not a stamp. It's my hand with the Sharpie signing every single one. All right, just to make it special for you guys, so it makes this more special. It's a limited run, and it's, you know, it's definitely, once it's gone, I'm not going to say it's gone, but chances are it's gone. It's limited, and it's, I'll tell you what, it's going fast. I can't even, I'm not going to say how many have sold so far, but I can't even believe how many have sold in the past three hours. It's insane. So it's going really quick. It's going to be a rare item for sure. And you guys have to hear this. Preferably on vinyl. But CD is awesome. CD is awesome too. You know. And it's available on, in, in both formats. And um, reserve your copy. Go to Port Merchandise. Or, or MichaelSweet.com. And then click on the, uh, the store link. Follow the store link, and you'll be able to go there and purchase it. But anyway, all that aside, you know, I'm here to talk about that, but I'm also here to talk about uh, just life in general. And I, I want to wish you all well. I really do hope that you guys are okay. I hope that everybody is figuring out a way to get through life. Life has changed for all of us, right? And it's not the same. I don't know that it's ever going to be the same, but it certainly can be as good, if not better. Because so much of it is here, how we think of it, and of course here in our hearts, and more importantly, our spirit and our faith, and how much faith we put in God and trusting God. So I just want to encourage all of you out there to trust God. Don't get discouraged. Don't get defeated. Don't, you know, fall into depression. Know that tomorrow's coming and tomorrow's going to be a better day. I know tomorrow's not promised and live life like today's your last day. But at the same time, also believe that tomorrow's going to be better. Okay? So I just want to encourage you guys to believe that. And for any confusion out there, thinking that this is a Striper album. This is not a Striper album. This is not Striper's version, remixed or remastered. This is Michael Sweet's version. Now, it's really similar. You're going to hear this album and you're going to say, wow, this sounds really close to the Striper album. That's because Striper basically copped exactly what I did on my solo album. We just re-recorded everything. But we kept the same arrangements. We kept the same vibe and feel of the album. Uh, so that's why you're going you're gonna to hear major similarities. But you're also going to hear major differences. Because I added guitar solos and uh, added some sections, added some moog and beefed up things a little bit. It's got the different drummer, the different bass player. I retract guitars, retract vocals. I mean, you're going to hear a huge difference. But yet, I wanted to keep it very similar the way it was structured and laid out. So, because everyone loves Reborn. I love it too. It just sounds better now. It sounds a lot better, sonically speaking. I can put it in my car and listen to it now. And it was, it was tough for me to listen to Reborn, the original version, because of the sonic quality. It wasn't quite up to par with what I wanted, what I preferred. But it's one of my favorite albums. So I hope now 
when you get a copy, either vinyl or CD, that you will agree that it's one of your favorite albums as well. And you can go to patreon.com forward slash striper right now and hear Reborn in its entirety. Uh, you can go pre-order it at Port Merchandise. But besides all that, Stephanie, hi, how are you? I'm going to start saying hi to people. Stephanie, I hope you're feeling better. We've been praying for you. I'm so sorry to hear about your, your ankle and everything that you've been through with that. It's terrible, but you know what? You're a, you're a fighter and a survivor, and you're going to be fine. You'll be stronger because of it. I know it, because I know you. And I, I saw Leanne. Leanne, I, I never see you. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Leanne. It's, it, last time I saw you, it's been years since I saw you, but Leanne lived with us, and it, she, she feels like family because we... She came and lived with us, and she almost like a like a daughter, which might sound weird, but it's true. Uh, she's family to us. Deborah, all the way in Italy, how are you? I hope you and the family are okay. Dirk McClure, what's up, brother? Say hi to the girls. Lizette, how are you? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm sneezing. No, I'm not sick. I'm fine. Elil, how are you, brother? What's up, dude? It's great to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. John Friesen, my fellow leather advocate. I got to get a new leather jacket, John. You, I, every time I see you in a photo, bro, you're looking sharper, way sharper than I ever could look. So I got to get a leather jacket and start looking sharp again. I'm going to shave this beard at some point in time. Yes, I know. I look, I look raggedy and scraggly. I know. But it's been fun. Not And look at this. I got this flippy do thing. I need a haircut. Um, hey, what's up, Lay? Is it, it's Lay, right? I always, I always pronounce that wrong. It's, or is it Lee? I know it's spelled L-E-I-G-H. And I always, I, I always mix up how to pronounce your name, brother. But it's great to see you, dude. Uh, he reviews our albums and gives us great reviews and is an incredible supporter of the band. It's so cool. Larry Gunnarsson, Mr. Canada. What's up, dude? Nice to see you. Salute. Deborah, Ray, what's up, dude? Nice to see you, too. Mark Winter, over there across the pond in England, in which my accent is terrible. Good to see you. And uh, everybody, it, it's so great to see everybody. Tracy West, how are you, brother? My, my sincere apologies, bro, about your father. And I know your heart breaks um, as you, you know, remember him and... I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you, buddy. Stay strong, okay? He's watching over you. Sonia, how are you? Milton. Oh, man, it's so good. Yeah, Sunbomb. Larry's bringing up Sunbomb. That song, the first song from Sunbomb, comes out tomorrow. And uh, I think it's for the song No Tomorrows. It's really cool. It's different, guys. It's pronounced Lee. Yeah, of course. Of course it is. I, I knew that, dude. <laughs> oh, It comes out tomorrow. The first song for Sunbomb comes out tomorrow. Troy St. Jakes. What's up, dude? Love you, man. Always good to see you, bro. Troy's like this good-looking six-foot-four, three-or-four dude up in... Hey, man, are you in Maine or New Hampshire? You're up there somewhere. But uh, it's it comes out tomorrow, and it's different. It's not black metal. Some people have said it's black metal. No, it's not black metal. It's definitely a little darker for me. I'm singing a little different. It's not the, the melodic thing that you normally hear, but it's really cool. And it was so great and so much fun doing a project with Tracy, who's become a friend of mine. And it's just a blast. And I just wrapped up the, uh, the new album with Joel Holkstra, Nathan James, Killer Singer. Amazing guy, great friend. Uh, also, uh, Tommy Aldridge on drums. Yes, the Tommy Aldridge. And Marco Marcello on bass. Turned to my guitar tracks for that and co-wrote it and, and, and arranged it. And uh, I'm working on this Worship Praise album. And I, I feel funny even calling it that, but it's just a really inspiring album. Totally different for me. Not a metal album, but I can assure you, all you metalheads are going to love it because it's got some really cool songs on it. It kind of takes you back, a throwback to the 80s and the, and the 70s, 70s and 80s. Really cool. And I'm excited about it because it's something I've always wanted to do. 
Um, and I start work on a new Michael Sweet metal album in May. And before that, I do another album with Alessandra at Frontiers. I'm hoping we can do like a Journey style, like the band Journey, one of my favorites. I sing nothing like Steve Perry, but I'll give it a go. And uh, then I start on the Michael Sweet Metal solo album. Scott, what's up, buddy? And another Scott. Baylor, what's up? Good to see you guys. Sammy, hello. So the new metal album coming out on Rat Pack Records, Joe O'Brien, the one and only who's become a dear friend of mine and runs a killer label and uh, is a big supporter of, of all things Michael Sweet and God bless him. I love him. And, you know, I wouldn't be here without all these people. It's as simple as that. I'd be like playing, playing on in a subway somewhere with an open acoustic case, you know, uh, getting quarters thrown in my case. And I mean, that's a great, that's a great thing. People love that. But, you know, if it wasn't for all these people supporting me and all of you, I, I wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be able to do what I do, and I love doing what I do, and I hope to do much, much, much more. Uh, let's see. After that, after the metal album in June, I start recording that, and I've got a couple names on there you're going to love. Wait till you hear some of the names that are going to be on that album. Incredible. Then I move into a Sweet Lynch album. I kind of vowed not to do a Sweet Lynch album again. We did two. Uh, but we came up with a way to do it that was really exciting for me. Uh, working with Alessandro at Frontiers and uh, just doing it, structuring it differently. And I'm able to do it and I'm excited about doing it. And we're going to do Sweet Lynch number three. And I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to work with the infamous one and only Mr. George Lynch, of course, on guitar again. And then uh, during the holidays, I'm going to start writing the new Striper album. And we will start recording that in early January of 2022. It's crazy. Hearing all this stuff kind of boggles my mind and makes my head spin. I'm sure it makes your head spin too because it's crazy, but it's really cool. I'm going to keep doing it while I can. That day may come when I can't. So I'm going to keep it up. What else? We're also going to do... We're shooting for, after Oz's surgery, we're going to shoot, once he heals up, we're going to go back in Spirit House and we're going to record two live albums again. And we're going to do Soldiers Under Command and No More Hell to Pay. Soldiers Under Command, No More Hell to Pay. Those two albums in their entirety, complete, start to finish. We're coming out in the next few weeks with To Hell with the Devil, which we recorded live, start to finish, and it's really cool. And we can't wait for you guys to see that. But anyway, everybody who came in today, wow, <clears throat> so awesome. And it stayed around 600 plus, 620 people. Blows my mind. Teach you how to organize all that like I do. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, you know what? I am OCD. There's a big difference between OCD and organized. And Leanne can attest to that. <laughs> I'm pretty organized, but I'm more OCD than I am organized. And I'm definitely more ADHD than I am OCD. But that's what keeps me going. You guys are awesome. Uh, you're very cool. Uh, thank you guys for supporting what I do. Go over to Port Merch, pick up a CD or a vinyl, or both if you can afford it. And I, I promise you, you won't be let down. I guarantee it. If you like Reborn or anything about Reborn, you're going to love, love, love this version because it just sounds so good. Kenny and I worked hard going in and re-recording everything, and then Alex mastered it, Alex Saltz, and of course the one and only Stan Decker did the artwork. The same guy that does the Striper artwork, same guy that masters the Striper albums. It sounds fantastic. Uh, so much better sonically than the original version, than the Striper version. It just does. And that's not me being mean or facetious or anything like that. It's just true. Uh, but I love you guys. I want to say a quick prayer for all of you who are still here, if that's okay. Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, and I lift everybody up that's here in this Facebook Live. I pray that you would touch their lives, 
And I pray that they would sense and feel your power and your grace and your mercy upon their lives. I pray that you would bless everybody. And, and more importantly, Lord, I pray that you would keep everyone out of harm's way. Keep everybody safe during this pandemic. As we're all fearful of getting sick, I pray that nobody would get sick. And if anyone is sick, I pray that you would heal them. Lord, touch everybody, bless everybody's life immensely, and let them know and feel your love. And let them also know that I love them very much. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. You're awesome. Thanks for sitting in with me for a few moments and taking a few moments of your time and your day out to spend it with me. I'm humbled. God bless you guys. You are awesome. I love you, and I'll be in touch. Go to Port Merch. Get that album before it's gone. See y'all later.